Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Dash for Cash. Back to tonight with another video. Um, I'm going to be posting this a little like along with the video I just posted. Um, just because I really wanted to make this video before I forgot about everything I was going to say about it. So, by now you already know the title of this video. And I want you to be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and also the rules for shoutouts. If you want to get a shoutout, number one, you have to comment that you want a shoutout. Like, hey, can you give me a shoutout or something like that. And second, you have to be subscribed to get a shoutout. So comment like, hey, can I have a shoutout? Or like, P.S. I'm subscribed. I will be able to, I will be able to know if you are subscribed to me so you can't lie. This is a great way to promote your channel and to promote mine because I'm getting a subscriber and then you are getting shouted out. So other people will be like, "Oh, I want to go check out her channel or his channel." So they will go check out your channel if they see you on my channel. Also, um most likely with shout outs, I'm going to be taking your profile picture and when I say shout out to blah 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 I will put your profile picture on the frame with that so that way they can check you out or whatever um shout outs will be given in every weekly video I do post videos in between every weekly video sometimes um but guarantee there will be a weekly video also today's video is about none other than my beautiful boy Denny the horse not me <laughs> my name is not Denny um so basically what I wanted to talk about today was or tonight I mean whatever I'm used to saying today but basically what I wanted to talk about in this video is his career and what I'm gonna be doing with him this year well he is a eight-year-old American Quarter Horse. I do not know his ancestry. A lot of people keep commenting and asking if he's Dash for Cash bred. Dash for Cash is a was a race horse, a quarter horse race horse that looked a lot like Denny. No, he is not Dash for Cash bred. Uh, he could be related to him, or he could be Dash for Cash bred. I don't know. I do not know his ancestry. So there's the like simple explanation of that so you can stop commenting i mean not that i don't mind the comment it's just it's getting a little tiring having to answer them but no he's not dash for cash bread that i know of he looks a lot like dash for cash but as far as i know he's not dash for cash bread secondly he is just a quarter horse i got him at an auction so i have no idea of his breeding I went on a journey for a little while trying to find out his um, ancestry. I could not find anywhere that would like do DNA tests. And, like you have to know the mom or the dad or both. You can't just give them some blood or some hair and find out. Which is really sad because I really wanted to know. Because I think he could be registered because he's like full quarter horse. So why would they not register him? Denny is an eight-year-old, AQHA, barrel horse. He is, um, he has been a barrel horse for 10 months. He's, I started him in training March, hold on, March 5th. He, um, I found out about a barrel race and... I've always wanted to barrel race and I was just like, 
it's a week away. I can do it. I can do it. Because one of my friends had been like, oh, you should go to blah, blah, blah. They have barrel races twice a month. And I was like, oh, cool. And then I found one and it was like the next weekend. And I was like, heck yeah, we're going. So I started him on strict training for a week. And yeah, you're probably like, oh my gosh, Raven, why would you do it that early? Like you should have waited like two months in advance to start training. I was like, yeah, but I don't know why I thought that way. That was really dumb. But basically, he was only in training for a week. I went to the barrel race. He had a hack -a He He wasn't even in a bit. Um, he did great on his warm-up run. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No, Not very speedy, but like turns and stuff. He did horrible on his normal run. He tried to like totally smoke the barrel. And then the second one, he tried to like... totally outrun it but other than that he did okay he did okay um and then after that I was like this horse is meant to be a barrel horse although I was just like he's horrible at it he's horrible at it so then I started training my mare Hershey I start I don't own her anymore but I started training her and she was doing okay well I, I took her to a couple barrel races after a few months of training and she would rear up a lot and she really sucked at it. So after we sold her, I didn't really have a choice. So I start, I took him into such deep training, like every day, months and months of it. Even it was actually, I started doing that before we sold her because she just wasn't cut out for it. She, she had the speed. She just didn't have the mind for it, but he was in strict training schedules, high dose feed, everything. And the feed didn't really boost his energy, but let's just say he went really far from a, I'll put like a video here, but he went really far from like a low dose token horse that we bought for 850 bucks as just a trail horse. And I turned him completely around. It was crazy. Um, so now I think I do consider him a barrel horse. I will insert the video, uh, the video that of the first time I won anything on him. I won first and second in 3D. I know that's not great, but that's first and second in something. Okay, that's like the first thing he's won and it was amazing. I used to do PB on him, but then I was like, you don't need to be in PB, buddy. I just... I kind of did it to get to get a place. Like that's what I want to do. I just want a place. But that's not in the best interest of him because he's not running against other seasoned horses. And he's just running against little ponies. So I upped him to youth. And he. I haven't gone to a barrel race since December. <sighs> before Christmas. It was before the 20th. I, uh, maybe it was the 9th. I'm not entirely sure. But we had a whopping run of 18 something or rather, I don't know, I'll insert it. But um, he did amazing. We won first and second in 3D. I got 46, 43, some kind of 40-ish number dollars. It was amazing, guys. Um, but as far as this video, I know it just took like 10 minutes ranting about nothing. But this is, what is his career gonna look like this year 2020 well I really I think this is our year this is our year to shine you know it took God didn't want us to jump right into professional barrel training which I'm not qualifying myself as a professional I don't think I ever will unless I get up there in oh, like 10 years or 20 but as of right now, he is an amazing barrel horse, and this year, we're doing it all, guys. I really want to travel to some far-out shows, like, two or three hours away, so I need to save all the money I possibly can, so my grandpa can haul me, and another goal I have for this year in, barrel, in his barrel career is I want to do a barrel race, where it's, like, two-day barrel race, 
like we go up there and we like sleep in the truck or something dumb like that. I want it to be like that. I think that'd be amazing. It'd be really cool. It wouldn't be just like one day barrel race where you go up there, you run, you come home. I want to stay down there for like a night or something. I think it'd be awesome. But uh, most likely I would have to go to one of those with my good friend. She's a barrel racer. Um, she travels a lot. She's a lot older than me. So she's really the only person that would haul me farther away. So I think if I have any chances of getting anywhere three hours out, it'd be with her. She trains a lot of thoroughbreds and cells and stuff. So, um, but I think he's going to do great this year. Um, I'm hoping our first bear race of the year is either like February. There's one on February 9th. There's one on February 2nd second but that's like way too soon so the ninth is probably the soonest i would do it but most likely march like the first one they have in march is march 10th i go to like the same place i haven't gone anywhere else well i have once and that's actually where my channel name came from we did the dash for cash race which is where you like there's three barrels okay we started here on the first barrel and we ran all the way around the barrels and we had a whopping eight flat seconds and that was crazy because one of the girls there she has a barrel horse and stuff and she ran and she was eight seconds and my grandpa was like don't try to beat that you can't beat that i went oh heck i know i can't beat that and we were going around the barrels and we come back and the announcer goes uh oh we got a tie and i was like o m g a tie eight seconds that's crazy here she has her two thousand five hundred dollar horse and i have my eight hundred fifty dollar horse and yeah so today or today not today i wish it was today this year i want to get denny muscle it up i want to get him running barrel barrels every month so i want at least at least 12 runs this year, okay? I would like a lot more, but I would really, I really just want at least 12 runs. He is going to be an amazing barrel horse. He already is. He, um, he knows everything. He's an amazing barrel horse. So I think he's going to really be an outstanding barrel horse. Um, as far as trail riding and stuff, he can still do trails, but he's not going to be a main trail riding horse. Probably when we go trail riding, which is all my grandparents do, I'll probably ride one of their horses or I'll borrow a friend's horse because I really want to focus him on barrels this year. I mean, that's this is his year to shine, our year to shine, and I really want that to come true. Um, he... As far as jumping, I'm not going to take him in any shows. I'm, I don't even own any jumping clothes at all. Like, I use, I buy leggings from, like, Walmart and jump in those. That's, like, what I wear. Um, going to a barrel race is so, so much easier than a jumping show because you don't have to wear certain clothes. You don't have to have certain tack. You don't have to, um, do... What are the breeds called? Not box breeds. I'm thinking of human hair. Um, gosh darn it. I know what they're called. and Now I can't think of them. But the little tiny braids you put in jumpers hair. I don't want to. I don't. See you have to do that. I don't want to have to do that. I can do nothing to his hair. And we st we're fine. Barrel rodeos. Barrel western. Western events are so much easier to show in than English. And I'll probably. Most likely never take him to a jumping show. I know where to find all the barrel races. I have no idea where to find a jumping show at all. Like, you wouldn't even believe it. I have no, no idea about jumping. Uh, I only recently started jumping like two years ago. I was on my own turf. I bought my own English saddle just off of Facebook. It was really cheap. And that's all we got. He's not an amazing jumper. Hershey could jump three foot like that. We approached the jump for the first time ever and she was like, bloop. I'll insert a picture of that. It was, it was amazing. 
I kind of wish I had kept her because I feel like she would have been a great jumping pony and then I would have like a jumping one and a barrel one. But I didn't. So he's kind of an all around horse, but he's kind of not. I'm just kind of zoning off with this video. I'm sorry. But mainly this, this year, I want to do 12 barrel races at least. I want to get him muscled up. I want to get him pro bear horse. And, um, yeah, I want to go to different showgrounds. I've only been to two showgrounds, and one is my main one. It's like 45 minutes away. But I want to go different showgrounds. I want to go to a two day show. And that's probably all the goals that I can think of for him right now. This is probably kind of a boring video. So I'm sorry. But, Thank you guys so much for watching tonight's video. I hope you be sure ugh, be sure to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you want to be entered to do a shout out. Or if you just want to join the equine community with me and go on our journey for this year's amazing barrel, re barrel year. Also, this week's shout out goes to, goes to Holly Plecker. I hope I said your name right. I'm sorry if I can't. Basically, Holly's channel, she doesn't have any videos of her own, but she has a lot of cool little playlists, like writing videos and stuff from other YouTubers. So you can go give her a follow, hit the notification bell on her channel, or anything you want to do. Go check her out. Um, Next week's shout outs will be coming. Just comment that Comment down below that you are subscribed and that you want a shout out. And leave me a little nice note if you want to. Also, guys, rate my channel 1 through 10. That's a new challenge. I want you to rate me and how much you like my channel or any improvements you think I can make. Also, be sure to leave video ideas down in the comments because I'm running out of ideas. We're only a month into this year and I need ideas. So leave me comments. All right. See you guys next week.